Here we have WISE 2018.1 preview build. Um, this is a special uh, build made for GDC. Uh, we'll be doing a walkthrough of the some of the new features uh, for the next version. So let's jump into it right now. Uh, it starts with the user preference. Now we have control over the lightness and contrast. Uh, allowing you to customize uh, the UI to your taste. Um, but not only that, we have access to the new dark skin. So let's switch to that dark skin for the rest of this uh, demonstration. Um, also, you may notice we have colors in WISE now. Uh, any object in WISE can now have a uh, color set to it. So here we have uh, green objects, uh, red objects, blue objects. So you can use colors for whatever uh, need uh, you have. Uh, it could be used, for example, to assign uh, status to object, uh, to um, set different types of object, uh, ambiences, uh, music, um, or to assign colors for a per team member of your team. Um, next, uh, we have uh, s more customiz uh, customizable uh, user interface uh, splitters and also this and the uh, split view allowing you to see uh, multiple tabs of the property editor at the same time. So let's move this here. And as you can see, we can split, uh, change tabs, uh, and edit multiple uh, aspects of a single object at the same time. Uh, and it all also works with uh, effects. So as you can see, uh, we can edit RTPCs at the same time as uh, effect parameters and also works with uh, the source plugins. So let's take a look at uh, this. Uh, we can see here uh, where we have uh, a sent one effect with uh, RTPC. But as you see, uh, there's a new type of RTPC available in WISE, which is time. So now we can automate properties on time. So let's create a modulator for two seconds uh, and increment the FM parameter of this synth. So let's try this and lower sawtooth. So, um, so basically now everywhere in WISE in the RTPC tab you have access to any property and you can modulate them using time. Next, the ability to copy paste effects from objects. So let's say we have a nice compressor here. We copy it and we paste it, let's say to our object here and we have a copy of our effect. Also, you may uh, already notice the uh, contents editor has been uh, redesigned. Uh, it's now using the list view as its um, base uh, system. Uh, it allows you to uh, resize columns, and, but also add new columns. Uh, so let's try to add uh, the looping property, uh, looping uh, to sounds. So as you can see, now we can see uh, any property in the contents editor. Um, 
Next, we have the tab navigation using keyboard shortcuts. So using the tab key now, we can navigate through uh, controls uh, anywhere in WISE. Um, and last thing for this demo is the uh, property help allowing you to see the overview of the current property. So for example, now I'm in a, on the voice, I see what's the voice volume and I can even click and get more information. Uh, for example, low pass, you can have access to the, the low pass frequency table directly from there. Uh, and it works with uh, any property in WISE. So that's just an overview of uh, WISE 2018. There's more features coming. And um, also keep in mind, this is still uh, unpolished. It's not ready. It's just for uh, demoing and to give you an overview of what's coming uh, for next version. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a nice day.